Hello, my name is Adam, welcome to the channel, and welcome to today's video. And today, we are back in your royal gayness. I hope I said that clearly. <laughs> Alright, so last episode, we... Complete brain fart. <laughs> Alright, so last episode, we, um... Okay, look, I'm gonna level with you. It's been a long week, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. We uh, found out some kittens lost their mittens, but if you ask me, I think they just threw them in the river or something. They just tossed them because they got sick of them. A wolf is eating grandmothers in the woods, and uh, another princess came to try and marry us, and we're just like, nah. Oh yeah, and Magda, we dyed our hair blue, but Magda thinks we did something else. Nasty. Okay, so last episode we left off, it was the weekend. I said we were going to take that on this week. However, the save point was after the weekend. I had to just rush through the weekend and the activities and uh, get to the save point. But I'll just add some clips uh, in here somewhere. Uh, it wasn't really much, honestly. We just talked into the mirror to raise our confidence and play the saxophone for some reason. Still not sure about that, but whatever. Alright, today, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new week for us as king. And we're feeling good. Alright, time to head to bed. Ooh, a letter has arrived. <sighs> Why does it have to be so freaking long? Amar, my man. How have you been? I just wanted to give you an update, bro to bro. Ooh, bro to bro update. My parents are talking about setting me up with Ta Tatina? Tatia? From prep school. Can you believe it? What a deal! Okay, so she, he's into her. Okay, maybe you can't. I know. She used to... What? Maybe you can't. Oh, can you believe it? I was like, what? Maybe you can't believe it. I know. She used to be, well, a bit weird. Oh, so he's into the weird girls. Alright. Alright, man. I'm, I'm not gonna shame you. I know she used to be, well, a bit weird. With her nose always buried in those books of hers. Barely ever said a word to me at school. Well, turns out, she grew into a real beauty. Alright, well, she sounds smart, but I guess she's beautiful. She's a bit on the thin side, but oh man, those curves she does have. Wow. Jealous much? You saying I don't got curves? <laughs> Jealous much? No, not really, because, uh, you know, not into that. <laughs> well, of course you aren't. You got all the richest and hottest babes from all over Terra Iris. Yeah, that's why I'm not jealous. Of course you aren't. You got all the hot, richest and hottest babes from all over Terra Iris lining up at your doorstep. But for a lowly noble like me, ta ta Tachas, a great match. I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that name. I'm curious, have you decided who you're going to marry yet? Of course it must be hard with all those lovely ladies, ladies to choose from. Let me in on the hottest gossip, Omar. Alright Omar, that was um... Well that was something I guess. It's always good to keep up with friends. Even if they're completely oblivious to who you are. <laughs> Time to hold some audiences! Alright Magda, you better have an update on those kittens and those mittens. My liege, the wolf has been killed. Oh, the wolf eating the grandmothers. Right, right, right. So the grandmothers have been avenged. Yes. Suffice to say, it was no easy feat drowning the beast, but our soldiers prevailed. Why'd you drown him? Excellent. Send its fur to gun f gu gun fur gu f blah, 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 whatever. Oh, you know what I mean. The kingdom with all the fur. Well done. Have our letter makers craft a fine set of armor from its hide for the man who slew the beast. Hmm. What should we do? Should we send it away? Or should we give it to the person that slayed the beast? Let's give it to the person that slayed the beast. That, that'll make an interesting gift. Here, you killed this wolf. Now you can have its skin. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Oh, hey, our military went up. Great. 
so that when the nobles revolt, they can enforce my rule. It's good to be king. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a fine idea, my liege. Shall the armor have a name? Uh, Jeffrey? Oh, Grandmother's Revenge. Grandmother's Revenge! Yes! Yes, Grandmother's Revenge. Grandma's Revenge! Yes! I'll, um, uh, I'll pass that on. You better, Drake, Ma Drake Master Magda. Oh, my liege, I have made more mittens as you requested, but the original mittens have also been recovered. Oh, okay. We now have six more pairs of cat mittens than we need. Well, sell them off. We should keep them. Why don't you just give them to the cats? They could wear like one mitten one day, then the other pair of mittens the other day. They can alternate. Not only will they be fashion forward, but they'll also have a versatile wardrobe. This is why I'm the king. Uh, you know what? Let's just sell them off. Give me money. Yes! Money, 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 money. I shall ensure that they find a good home. They're mittens. They're not puppies or kittens. Whew, that's it for today. No more audiences. I'm done. Okay, I felt like I didn't really have a very productive day, but you know what? He says he's done. He's done. He's the prince, right? Good night. All right, uh, he's busy. I don't know what he's doing. Drake Master, uh, improve relations, gather the army. What does, what does ga gather the army do? Gather wealth. Uh, let's improve relations with the wolf people. That's what it looks like here. Let's gather, you know, let's see what gather the army is. I don't know what that does. Yes, my leash. All right, you're all busy. Uh, we still have money. Um, let's see, we got lots of money. Our military is up, loyalty is still not there, so we can't pass any laws yet. And, uh, eh, happiness is pretty much up. Hey, why did my outfit change? I said I wanted that. We're gonna be fabulous. Damn it. Oh, wait! Can we go to the dungeon and see that girl? Let's go to the dungeon. No, we cannot. I thought there was an alligator here. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Like, it's an alligator tail? Oh, there she is. Let's see, we could ransom her for 5 coins, ransom for 15, or ransom for 50. Or we could release her. Uh, what's next? What was it? Oh, okay, so these are royal prisoners. And these are just the common folk. Um, uh, let's go. Let's just, let's just, we're just call it a day. Ooh, what's going on? Spymaster Seraph. Your grace, do you have a moment? Oh, what's going on, Seraph? Are you here to confess your love for me? I'm sorry. <laughs> Of course, what's the matter? Oh wait, is this about my breath because I took the potion and turned my hair back to normal? <laughs> Spy Master Sarath. Well, er, it concerns your uncle. Oh. Which uncle? My mother's brother? The goldsmith? Or dad's brother who lives up in the mountains? Oh, he's a hermit. The latter. Your father. The king's brother. Uh-oh, what happened? Ah, good old crazy uncle Zad. Is he coming to visit? Has he changed his mind yet again on whether or not he wants to be in line for the throne? Because dad told him a thousand times. Oh, no, it's not. It's none of those. It's a, uh, well, I'll say it plain. He's dead. Oh my. Oh. Well, that's, I mean, it's not surprising considering his lifestyle. But didn't he just turn 40? That's still awfully young. It is, but as you said, he lived in a hermit's life in the mountains. Do you know how he died? By Master Seraph. I do not. Well, not exactly. I'll spare you the details, but his body was found long after he perished. Ooh, that means he was decomposing or he's bones. No, don't spare me the details. I ought to know. Or just face. Uh... Spell the tea, Seraph. Spell the tea. Spy Master Seraph. Very well then. An explorer discovered the remains of his body at the bottom of a ravine high in the mountains. One of his legs and arms had been broken, as well as several of his ribs. Oh my. The explorer judged him to have been dead for at least a month. Considering how little was left of his body, not much but skin. Not, 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 why does that look weird? Not much but skin and bones. 
at that point. It was only because of his ring that he knew who he was. So I Master Seraph. My guess is either he fell into the ravine and was unable to move, or managed to drag himself there after the injury in search of a creek, but found he could go no further. Either way, a gruesome, prolonged death. Ooh, that is awful, actually. Prince Amar, I see. Sorry, Master Sir. You did ask for the gory details. Prince Amar, I know, and thank you for being honest with me. Sorry, Master Sir, of course. Well, he just got happy about that. Sorry, Master Sir. Hey, wait a minute, Spider Master, aren't you supposed to be gathering loyalty for me or something? Why are you going around gossiping about my dead uncle? I think we need to have a talk. In the dungeon. And no, I'm not putting myself in the cell this time, alright? I'm onto your tricks, Spy Master. Spy Master Surf. Anyway, the decision to hold a state funeral must be decided on. Normally, I would turn first to the immediate family of the deceased. But, as His Majesty is not here, I look to you, his nephew, for an answer. Well, he is family, so I am the immediate uh, relative, you know? We shall hold it now. Crazy as he was, Zad was loved by the people, and they will wish to convey their grief now rather than later. We shall wait until my parents return. This was my father's brother, and I won't hold his funeral while he is away. Oh, you know what? I was just going to jump forward and say, no, let's hold the funeral for the poor dude. But, uh, yeah, his brother is away. This is a tough decision. What do you do? You know what? Let's hold it now because we probably don't have ways to preserve bodies any- well, there's not much of him left. You know, let's hold it now and then Dad Z could go, uh, go, uh, visit the burial site. Let's hold it now. Damn it! I just lost loyalty for it! <sighs> I need that loyalty! To pass laws. So I must served. Yes, he certainly was. When he left for a life of... Uh... Uh... What? A cert... A, what did you, it, it broke the hearts of many... Many Majurians. Very well. We shall hold a service tomorrow evening at the Royal Square Amphitheater. Ooh, fancy. I shall put the word out and attend to all of the preparations. You, Spartan Master? Alright. Prince Amar, thank you, Spy Master. At the amphitheater located at the Royal Square in the center of the city, the mood is sober. Aww. News came so soon that many of the citizens gathered here, nobles, merchants, and peasants alike, came straight from their place of work. Wow, okay. He was a he was a big deal. Upon the stage before an empty casket, High Priestess Ka Karan Karansa leads the service. I'm sorry, I <laughs> High Priestess. A good friend of mine once told me, prepare yourself for death, O oh, my sister, for it will descend. Do not draw out your hopes in case your heart treats you harshly. Preserve in reflection, which will make you aware and move you to do good works, for life will depart. At the time I thought it morbid. But I came to understand the wisdom behind it. He meant that one should not always be looking towards the future for happiness, but instead find it in the here and now. Zaid. Zaid. Oh wait, is this in his name wrong? Oops. Zaid. May he forever dine with the sun and sands. Perhaps understood this best of all of us. Despite being royalty, he never cared much for the boon boons of the throne. He looked for pleasure in the presence, in the mundane, and in the everyday, and so did he cast down his titles and live a life of solitude and of self-reflection. If anyone would like to say some words about Zaid Libin, Lib, Lin, Zaid Lin Fa, Fazlua, please come to the stage and do so. Any and all are welcome. Oh my god, I butchered that so bad. A noble man, one I see often representing the noble council, is the first to step forward. 
Hey, it's that dude from earlier. Noble spokesman. One of my earliest memories from when I moved here to the capital was of the two princes, Zayd and the now king, Fazin. And it is also one of my fondest. It wasn't in the palace or during a parade or anything like that, but right here in the amphitheater. They were running a comedy duo, wearing masks to conceal their identity. Zay played the straight man to his brother's funny man, and I swear I've never laughed harder. I still to this day have no idea how he kept such a deadpan expression while every, while every else was in tears, but it was perfect every time. His speech over, he leaves the stage, another, a cloaked figure with an ambiguous gender walks up next. Oh my, this looks like a cult dude or something. He looks sketchy. Friendly cult- <laughs> Friendly cultist. Hi everybody, it's your friendly never hear cultist. Okay. No, no, no. Pamphlets today. I see those scowls of yours. <laughs> oh, he has the pamphlets with him. I just want to say that no matter what mood the once Prince Zaid was in, he always listened to what I had to say. Sometimes we even engaged in productive discussion on theology and philosophy. Ah, those were the good old days. Alright, well, he's gone now. <laughs> he's gone now. The cultist leaves the stage, though not without plenty of eyes rolling from the audience. <laughs> After them comes a pause. No one certain who should go next. So I take the initiative. Oh no. Ooh, I look good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot I changed my outfit. Zaid was, as you all know, a man of the people. Being his nephew, I knew Zaid quite well. Better than most. No, 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 no. Let's, let's give it to the people. Zaid was, as you all know, a man of the people. A major the majority of the crowd, the laymen, and the workers of Almara smile at that. My uncle would never miss an opportunity to stand before a crowd, be it a be it speech or performance, or simply because he wanted to. Oh, so he was an outgoing dude. All right, that's kind of weird. He was an outgoing dude, but he wanted to live a hermit life. He was a wily eccentric figure, the kind well suited to rule, and the kind who wouldn't get mad at you for calling him wily eccentric. Okay, is that going to go off as like a joke, or is that going to go off as like... Uh, saying he would be good to rule is kind of weird because he never wanted to, right? Let's go with the eccentric one. Who okay. cares? <laughs> Why not? He was widely eccentric figure, the kind well suited to rule. And the kind who wouldn't get mad at you for calling him wildly eccentric. Yes, I got my my noble's loyalty back. The spokesman for the noble people who spoke earlier lets out a harsh cackle of an approval. In approval. Yes. Alright, the joke did not land flat. Though it would, of course, have meant the end of my chance at being heir to the throne. Were Uncle Zad ruling Almara instead of my father, I would have had the utmost faith in his ability. Okay, let's, that's getting a little too close to that. Let's calm down, maybe. Had the dreadful day ever come where something happened to my father, rendering him unable to rule, I think few would have doubted Uncle Zaid's ability in leading Almara. I think we should go with that one. Hope it lands well. Had the dreadful day ever come, or something ever, something happened to my father, rendering him unable to rule, I think few would have doubted Uncle Zaid's ability in leading Almara. Yes! The nobles love me! <laughs> I can pass the law now, we can pass the law! Is this too soon? Nah, Zaid would love it. Through their black veils of mourning, I see two noblemen wipe away small tears and smile. Yes! Okay, so it came as a tremendous surprise to everyone when he told us of his plans to leave the city and live a life of solitude in the mountains, or... So it came as a tremendous surprise to everyone when he told us of his plans to advocate his position in line for the throne. Hmm. They're kind of the same, really. 
I guess we'll go with the Advocate the Throne, maybe? I don't know, these are kind of, they're kind of the same, really. This one's just shorter. You did Advocate the Throne, right? And they were all sad about that. But would that remind them of that? Maybe that would remind them of that, like, why do you Advocate the Throne? Uh, okay, well, let's go with this one. So it came as a tremendous surprise to everyone when he told us of his plans to leave the city and live a life of solitude in the mountains. All right, all right, everything's everything's still good. And it made the people happy, so that's fine. A young boy pops up, Mommy, I want to go to the mountains. And this is quickly hushed by his mother. <laughs> There's always that one kid. On some days, I have even considered the same, though... He was taken from this world far too soon. He did indeed seem happy in his new life. Okay. Mm. I never claimed to understand his decision. Sometimes I even thought it other madness. But it was his decision, not mine. And so I, along with my father and mother, abided by it. Hmm. That's kind of respecting him, right? I think this sounds a little more respectful. Let's go with this one. I never claimed to understand his decision. Sometimes I even thought it other madness, but it was his decision, not my- Wait! Oh, I forgot about the madness part. Wait, that sounds kind of bad. As soon as my words left my mouth, a feeling of dread- Oh my god. It didn't hit me until I realized- Oh wait, the madness. The crowds- <laughs> As soon as the words left my mouth, a feeling of dread enters me. The crowd, which seemed more than willing to voice their opinions, is now deadly silent. Oh no, was it? Was I too harsh? I spoke the truth, but perhaps the truth was not what the people wanted to hear. Why would that raise suspicions of my sexuality? That's, that's weird. Regardless, I continue my speech, speaking a bit further on my memories of my late uncle before passing the stage on to whoever else wishes to speak. The funeral continues until the last lights of twilight have re receded and the stars arrive to populate the night sky. That was beautifully poetic. As the only family member present, I stay until the very end. Many approach to give their condolences and I graciously accept them. A few approach to try to mooch favors from me instead. I give them a businessman smile at least. I'm going to be incredibly sleepy tomorrow morning, but that's fine. Oh, because I stay late. Time to head to bed. Okay, no more letters. I don't want to hear anything, alright? Maybe you didn't like how the funeral went. Funeral, funeral, oh my god. Alright, well, I think we did more than enough for today, so uh, I want to call the video here. Alright, well, I want to call the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, uh, what you liked, what you didn't like, and uh, hopefully see you next time. Alright, see you guys later. Goodbye.